Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we will discuss about HPing 3. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, uh, first of all, really thank you for all your support. Uh, you guys are really killing it and uh, uh, I had seen you, I had seen most of you posting questions in the comment section, but to be frank, I can help you there because uh, I can help you uh, uh, like seamlessly there. So that's the reason why I had uh, my discord server. So where you can post your questions so uh, it doesn't provide me any money but it is a place where you can uh, get your doubts solved so the link in the description below and if you want to connect to me personally the linkedin and the twitter links are in the description below so let's start so guys uh, if you are a little bit familiar with the cyber security and and the steps of ethical hacking then you will definitely know an important phase known as scanning so scanning is a phase where we try to obtain the information like what are the ports open on that system, what is the services that are running, etc, etc, etc. And if you think about scanning, then the first thing that you uh, that comes to your mind or the first tool that comes to your mind is Nmap. But Nmap has its drawbacks, right? So because Nmap, ha Nmap has only few options, but this tool that I'm going to discuss, which is named as HPing3, so this is a, a quite popular as well as an old tool. Uh, you can do various kinds of stuff with this tool and we will go, uh, we'll see what it does in the further part of this video. So uh, that is it. So and also guys before starting this video is completely for educational purpose and it doesn't mean any harm to anyone because this tool uh, some section of this video has some harmful stuff but I'm not responsible for any kind of those stuff. So let's dive in and everything I'm going to show you is on my virtual network. Okay, uh, so you can see I can show you there. So this is my VMware and I'm having my Kali Linux as well as my Metasploitable. And this is where I'm doing the stuff out there and uh, we'll discuss uh, how harmful this stuff is as well in the upcoming part of this video. So the tool is pre-installed in the Kali. But if you want to install it on any other devices, so sudo apt install hyphen y and uh, hping3. So hyphen y is nothing but we need to specify yes or no uh, while you're installing. But if you specify hyphen y argument, then it will does by default it does it by default i think my spelling is wrong right, so it is already installed on my stuff so i don't need to do but if you are using on any other uh, distributions out there uh, like ubuntu or anything like that uh, you can install that and you can proceed along so now coming to this uh, part so hping3 i had given an, uh, a good amount of high for the hping3 uh, but before that, we need to discuss about some uh, concepts like uh, TCP and UDP. So TCP is Transmission Control Protocol. So these are uh, these TCP and UDP comes to you uh, uh, while you are looking into the transport layer. So TCP is a seamless, uh, is like a connection oriented. Let's think like I'm delivering uh, some message to you and I'm asking whether you uh, received that particular message or not. Right. So there is a, a communication which is trustworthy that all my uh, messages are coming to you and I'm getting uh, verified as well. Okay, so it's like I'm sending a message and I'm getting an acknowledgement. But if you take a UDP, I simply uh, keep on sending messages. Like if you take a live stream, so it, keep, it keeps on uh, throwing out stuff. But sometimes you feel some like lags and buffers. So this is the basic thing. And if you want to uh, find an example of TCP, it is not, none other than uh, some things like WhatsApp and stuff, which are reliable for the communication. So and in TCP there are some few stuff like sin, ack, uh, fin, etc. These are some flags. So we'll discuss while we are going in. So after installing this particular tool, so hping3 hyphen hyphen help, right? So you get a ton of options for this tool. That's the reason why I'm showing you this particular tool. So you find you get a lot of options, and uh, you can see some important thing are like count. So you can send. Uh, you can uh, specify how many packets you want to send and interval uh, there is something like others like there are many things you don't need to remember everything and if you take like if you take nmap by default the mode of uh, transmission is icmp mode so it is like what we do in pings and stuff right but in uh, uh, 
uh, this particular hping 3 tool the default mode is tcp so you can bypass some firewalls i can't say all but you can bypass some firewalls you can specify like udp scan you can scan ports okay we'll discuss that as well uh, you can listen for any ports like uh, this is not much useful but uh, this act sometimes less like netcat uh, and one more cool thing the the cool section is you can spoof your ip address like source ip address so we'll discuss everything you can specify the time to live by default it is 64 for some operating systems and 128 for some operating systems you can specify that as well uh, there are many more stuff uh, these all these you don't need to remember or all these you don't need to uh, get into mind okay only few things are fine and now coming to the tcp and udp uh, you can specify the ports right and also as we discussed earlier uh, there are some flags in tcp and these flags are none other than this the fin flag uh, sin rust uh, reset flag push flag acknowledgement flag urgent flag and xmas uh, this particular option sets up all the flags so we'll discuss what this flag does so sin so sin uh, uh, so if you take a packet if you take a tcp architecture uh, the sin flag uh, tries to uh, let's think you want to connect with me so you are sending a request so it is not none other than like sin right acknowledgement so if you if i got a message uh, let's think you did uh, you got my message and you are sending me an acknowledgement and uh, fin is nothing but finish so once our communication is done i'm sending a fin flag which finishes the communication like we are requesting to close the channel for the communication and reset so whenever there is some uh, abnormal uh, uh, communication cuts then reset flag is set then urgent as the name suggests so it sets a priority to some packets okay so if it's passing through some like firewall or stuff or rotors or stuff so if this particular flag is set these uh, packets are sent fastly as it is a uh, more priority and push sometimes same like urgent okay so these two uh, are same uh, most of the time but these are some basic things guys regarding tcp and udp and if you are not much familiar i will link down a uh, a blog uh, regarding tcp and udp you can study out there but if you are familiar you can go ahead right so these are all the flags you can set okay so in packet you find out all these flags in xmas if you uh, select hyphen x then you can select all these flags right and ymas and stuff okay and uh, there is something like uh, so many things you can specify the data size by default it is 64 bytes but uh, you can crank up you can crank that up to like 10,000 or stuff and uh, the one harmful uh, a part of this tool is you can do a, a denial of service attacks with the help of this tool and it is the most dangerous stuff you can uh, here like something like sin fluid and stuff like that you can do with the help of this tool and this makes a sense so uh, coming to an example once i did uh, it on my router home router uh, through the help of my mobile net hunter kali net hunter and uh, it got hung and my network connection had gone i i, I did a hard reset and then it it came fine so the some of some parts of this tool definitely make some impact so make sure uh, before testing them on the live machines now let's come uh, now let's come back to the uh, practical part so first of all let me find out the ip address of my uh, meta exploitable you can see it is none other than 132 uh, 162, 168.128.132 so let me ping that first of all so with that we can uh, confirm that the system is live so now let's go with a simple uh, command right let me hit enter so you can see basically what it is doing is so you can see no flags are set by default it is a tcp flag and this simply adds like a ping right it, it is simply sending some requests and you are getting some responses right and you can see some various time like time to live id and various kinds of stuff now let's go a little bit further and we'll f try to find out some various information uh, regarding the stuff so the thing is like let me scan so like nmap you can scan for any different kinds of ports hyphen hyphen scan and we can specify the ports like 121024 so these are the ports i'm looking for and let me hit enter so you can see it shows the port and there are some drawback with this tool because in nmap you can find out all the working path uh, set it up uh, 
it in different scans but here you need to test everything you can see these ports are open but these haven't been shown here but uh, if i try to set up a sin uh, a sin flag to the to my particular uh, packet and you can see what happens you can see these ports are getting listed out there right so this particular tool is like an on an experimental side you can uh, try to uh, add up some various options you can look into various stuff and etc 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 right so now coming to this we had i had shown you how you can scan a uh, and machine of from 1 to 1 0 2 4 ports and i set it up a sin flag i had already discussed what is sin and you can see it worked fine and it is even faster right it is even faster and we'll also see other things like uh, uh you can spoof your ip address and stuff okay so you can flood this thing this is the most dangerous this is the one we're going to discuss out there uh you can also specify the uh sorry hyphen hyphen data you can specify the data like ten thousand bits you can see uh it is sending like ten thousand data bytes so it is definitely going to mess up the server right and you can also specify the count 10 so it, it sends up the 10 packets and once it once the 10 packets are done so it's going to stop or else it is going to be in un, uh, like unstoppable mode you can do some kind like a udp scan hyphen u i think so you can do like a udp scan let me come over here yep hyphen 2 sorry you can do a udp scan you can see icmp port unreachable you can see different options coming out here so this is uh and the particular um, usage of this tool is suppose if you take some uh, real life networks like if you are asked to pen test to a network and if you want to scan a machine then remember guys nmap scans are not going to work and even though you are doing an nmap scan their ids or ips so ids is nothing but an intrusion prevention system and ips is nothing but an intrusion prevention and sorry detection system and also firewall these are going to catch and they are going to uh, tell to the administrator right so the reason why i had included this tool is this tool is going to make a lot of sense because you can create a packet like anything like you can uh, add some various flags you can add an urgent flag right you can add an urgent flag you can scan so that you doesn't get detected okay you can see these various options out there and uh, let me open a new tab and if you want to find out a clear information regarding this thing you can simply look into the manual pages of this tool and you are going to find out a hell lot of information uh, compared with this particular help menu you can see what this particular thing does like the description you can test the firewall rules you can see you can bypass firewall sometimes sometimes okay it depends on how it is being configured right uh, and stuff and now let's come back to the stuff right so you can test these things up and also uh, you can specify the port right and i'm going to specify a sin flag and let me hit enter you can see i'm i'm contacting to the port 80 on this particular machine and you can see you can see uh you can add up various options you can try to connect to any port or you can try to find out whether any port is open or not in like an stealthy way stealthier way right now uh let me close this manual page okay you can read that manual page okay and there is something called as tcp uh uh, let me find out the thing so there is something called as tcp timestamp so that is going to uh, make a lot of sense because this is so basically uh, the tcp package doesn't have timestamp so if there is a timestamp included in a packet then the routers and all these network devices uh, conclude that it is something valuable or it is something urgent like it makes it priority as the timestamp is mentioned like this was the timestamp it was sent or this was the timestamp it should go there it should reach there so the firewalls and these ids and ips doesn't check keenly so if you add this particular hyphen hyphen tcp timestamp then even it is going to make a lot of sense see uh, all these things you can specify the thing up you can see the tcp timestamp and everything you can see a uh, system time up time etc 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 everything so 
the only thing i can recommend you is try out a various options present out there see this video i can cover all these options because if i want to cover an options i can write a whole book on this particular tool but we'll discuss few of them and we'll go ahead right so i, I had discussed about scanning uh ports or connect or uh, pinging a port through the help of tcp or udp or icmp so icmp simple you can specify hyphen one right and i had also shown you uh, this data how you can crank up the data of your uh, particular packet that you are sending you can specify the count okay now we'll go to the interesting part which is like you can do a den distributed a deni denial of service sorry not distributed it's a denial of service attack so dos attack it is called as uh, it is called popularly as so so for this to show you uh uh, to show you let me open my wireshark so wireshark is also a tool right so let me show you uh, practically so what is happening and there is one more options i need to show you one more option I need to show you is random source or you can cra you can uh, definitely uh, change the source and stuff so we'll try to do is uh, hping3 let me paste the ip hyphen hyphen flood so you can see i already ran this stuff so it is showing in my uh history so you can see i'm doing i'm trying to flood this particular uh, ip uh with random sources so i'm not specifying my pc is going to attack it is going to throw up a lot of uh, uh, random sources and stuff so let me hit enter let's see what happens you can see even this got hang so let me stop this thing up let me stop this thing so ip i'm going to filter this out so ip dot tht and equal to equal to i'm specifying the stuff so i think i need to capture that once again so let me do that once again uh, or you can see it is done here guys you can see uh, my source being some random ip address and the destination is same here since i had uh, filtered out the uh, destination you can see some various ip address and in the any uh, you can see, can you find out what is for, uh, who is the attacker of this particular thing right but uh, there are some advanced firewalls that uh, can do that but mostly for a normal user or for normal stuff you they can't find you you can see the source is different right and but the destination is same all are having a same purpose they are doing a tos attack on this particular meta spreadable machine so that is the thing right and uh, if you want to do a lot of sense you can crank up the data and it is going to blast the server sometimes not blasting but it, it's going to make the server slow so as i had already uh, told you that once i did this particular kind of thing on my home access point and uh, it stopped working from then and i had to do a reset i had to do a firmware reset and it's back then so that's the reason don't try to do this on uh, our real devices okay it is going to make a lot of uh, impact and uh, you can try out as always you can uh, do that on various ports you can also specify on what port you want to uh, like blind on blindly throwing out on this particular thing you can also target any port specified port so you can see that if you had seen here you can see it sent like 14759 packets with a size of 10000 bytes and see how impa how much impact this particular tool is going this particular command is going to do right and you can see within the meantime it sent like 1 lakh packets here so see uh, it is going to make a huge sense and this particular tool is remembered or it is being used everywhere like a dos and if you had like 10 to 100 systems and if you had this particular tool installed and if you are targeting a server or anything like that then it becomes a ddos distributed denial of service and even that makes a huge sense so so that is it guys uh for everything and in order to protect this thing up in order to protect from these kinds of attacks uh, maintaining a good firewall like komodo firewall or anything like that uh, mostly for the normal pcs and for uh, the and for servers or production networks you can have something like ids or ips uh, to protect uh, from these kinds of uh, attacks so that is it guys for today 
I hope you really find this video and I had also to mention that this video is only for educational purpose. Don't harm anyone. Teach others how you can protect from these kinds of stuff. And if you really like this video, uh, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are interested in this cyber security stuff. So really, th so really thank you guys for watching this video. This is Satvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.